Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Assetto Corsa, bringing back my GTI that I built for competitive drifting here in Assetto Corsa, originally for a hot pit auto fest, but a very viable drift car for competition. So we're gonna go full send with it, see if we can still get this thing sideways here at Long Beach, with Long Beach being only a few weeks out, it's only best that we send it here. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all found in the description box below. Let's get to it. So I have yet to drive this car on the R21. So this is gonna be a full uh, full send here in this GTI. Rear-wheel drive, very powerful car, very fun car. It was a car that I was building originally for competition and uh, just kind of put on the back burner, but we bringing it back out because maybe revamping this car because you can see there's a, uh, huh, a hole in the fender that I can see the uh, other side of the track. So let's go full send and see if we can't get a decent run here. Kind of shallow there, not all the way out there. Quick flick there. Oh, too much left of a break. And this is like I said, I have not driven this car yet in a very long time. So definitely have to get used to the short wheelbase and everything again compared to say the RTR that I've been running a lot. But this car was so much fun and I feel like we just need to ease off the left foot brake. We should be able to get a good solid run. Still not as deep as I want to get out to that section. Yeah, no left foot brake. Oh, kind of flubbed it through that part of the course. So definitely need to do some fine tweaking of the suspension. So we're going to go do that real quick. So quick dial change of suspension, and we're going to go full send on this. We're also going to drive it in other views as well. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll try in the description box below. I do appreciate you guys coming back for another episode. If you guys want to keep seeing more with this car, let me know down in the comments as well. Dial a little bit of grip out. A little bit of a flub there. Yeah, dialing out a little bit of grip definitely helped. Oh, over rotated at the end. This car is so snappy with the short wheelbase. It's definitely a, a bit of a challenge to get right on the quick transitions, but it's something that I've had a lot of fun when I first started building this car. We were actually in that zone. Very wide there, though. So hatchbacks, like I said, very snappy, very uh, quick to angle and stuff like that. So it's very uh, different than that big RTR that I was driving and the E36 that I was driving when ESDA was going on. So let's try this in third. See if we can see where we're at. Little miss shift there. Can't see where I'm at through that. That's the only problem with third person. You just see how quickly this car just snaps the angle and I actually can't drive in that. So we'll go into the views I would run in competition. As you can see, you can see kind of see a suspension through uh, through the window of the left front. So like I said, model is not fully complete yet, but I definitely love the hatchback car. I kind of bogged out the car did not clutch kick where I needed to be this car is definitely a handful now and apparently I'm having a rough time driving in any view other than first which you know is something that a lot of people have you know comments about about third person and roof cam and stuff like that but first person is definitely where I'm most comfortable in a competition car that is A 
taking that out to the wall. Kind of right on the wall. I kind of want to see what that run looks like in replay. Now, unfortunately, we don't have replay cameras, so we're going to have to watch it kind of just from the chase cam of that last run because I feel like I was digging that outside wall as close as possible with the bumper. Now, like I said, I'm used to a longer car, so having the shorter back, need, I need to uh, commit myself further out to the walls because of the shorter back end. Yeah, see? Definitely need to get further out there. I kind of got the car out there and into there, but yeah, the shorter back end definitely makes you have to dive way deeper into the corner which we're gonna go comparison we're gonna switch to the rtr and you'll see the comparison of that so a much different view in this rtr cockpit compared to that gti and this was built for spec for vdc and esda gotta get the nittos a little heat in those nittos for this Mustang and go full send. We're going to have to not get as close with the big bumper, but ah, there it is. I, I kind of pointed myself to where I thought I needed to be. But with the big back end of that Mustang, that's exactly where we were going to end up. We're going to give it one more shot. We'll take a look at these two runs. So let me know what you guys think, RTR versus GTI, and what you guys think of the two in comparison. GTI being different, RTR being a tried and true chassis. And a nice flow out there so definitely i feel much closer and everything with the rtr but i've invested a little bit more oh wrong button i've invested more time with the rtr than i did the gti so we're gonna try to get a nice run so we can take a look at the third person view of it so we can see exactly where we are in bumper aspect in relation to the clips and the walls That one was shallow compared to the last run. This one's going to be in the wall. We kind of reminisced exactly what we did in the last one. The one final attempt here on Long Beach. Definitely super excited for Long Beach and the start of the 2023 FD season. Let me know down below who you guys are picking for this year. I know a lot of people are going to be saying James Dean in the RTR. So I'm very curious. Like my favorite driver, Forrest Wing, is coming back as well. Now we're kind of good. Kind of overshot that one, I believe. Ride the wall out. So let's take a look at these. That last final run in uh, Chase Cam to end this episode off. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All those spots in the description box below, I believe. Okay, so we got to go back to right there. Not as fast of an entry as I'd like, and a little bit too much break there. And the transition there was nowhere near the wall, but we did dig out to that outer zone. And transition slightly went late there and kind of pushed us a little wide. So that's going to do it here for this episode. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All the fun description box below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. <laughs>